devant la caserne Quand le jour s'enfuit La vieille lanterne Soudain s'allume et lui C'est dans ce coin-là Que le soir On s'attendait so many words to describe the fear, the hatred of being hated, the songs they sang to heal themselves and carry on the tradition of our people. Even though thousands tried to kill them, they survived. Come and meet me, Pfeifen. Underneath the lantern, by the barricade, Darling, I remember the way you used to wait. T'was the you whispered tenderly that you loved me. You'd always be my lily of the lamplight, my own, my lily. I was born to a middle-class family in New York City in 1957. My grandparents were Russian immigrants who survived Stalin and the programs. To give me life, so they said. What I believe is that they couldn't even see the future. They were only concerned with giving themselves a chance at starting a new life. The cries for freedom that were shared, but I cannot forget their horrible stories of coming to that land and my struggle in this new land. I want to authenticate a part of history that has been deleted, strangely enough. I began my research approximately three years ago, a search for the truth. But whose truth? I was confronted by more and more questions, some of which I still cannot answer. I asked for help and found many closed doors and dead ends. But I didn't give up my search. I felt so lost and alone in this country learning how different this culture and language is. But I kept asking myself, how do I tell this story? Or how many holes can you peg yourself into? How many ways can you be hated? Who is it that really writes history? Is this my history, my ideals, my story? Am I giving honor to myself? In September 1941, the Hollands of Skelberg became the only place for Jewish artists to perform. Then in June 1942, the Skelberg in Amsterdam became the detainment center for all Jews. Jewish people picked up by the Nazis waited here for days before they were transferred to the camps. This was the beginning of their destruction. I always wondered why people hate other peoples. Why do certain people want to eliminate a whole breed of people? They don't even know me and they hate me just because I'm Jewish. My grandparents, along with my great-grandmother, did teach me that I was free. That it was my right as a human being to learn to be true to myself and to be kind to others. This was all well and good until I moved to Europe two and a half years ago. For the first time in my life, I was scared to be a Jew. I have been learning how much I take for granted. I was speechless when I saw Nazi documents in the Jewish Museum in Amsterdam, which read that on 1 July 1940, all Jewish people were excluded from Dutch society. Then on 4 November 1940, all Jewish civil servants were fired. And by the end of that year, registration of Jews had begun. On 3 June 41, identification papers were introduced with a large J. 
Later in 1941, all parks, cinemas, theaters in Amsterdam were closed to Jews. 1942 saw the appearance of the Yellow Star. And finally, in June 1942, the transportation of Jews to Auschwitz and Sobibor had begun. Why? Because you were Jewish. With a growing, sick feeling in the pit of my stomach, I realized that if I was born in this country, it could have been me. Have you ever been confronted with terrorism? Have you ever been approached by two Arab men and asked pointedly, are you a Jew? Do you know the difference between anti-Semitism and anti-Zionism? Do you know of any defense against any of this without becoming paranoid or hostile? And try to look to paradise Why do I live so badly With woman love so sadly And drink too much until I Kissing cold good old hands Too bad for me 